Good morning. So, this is actually my first YouTube video. I'm starting, it's a little bit late. I'm a little, I'm like about just under four weeks out now, almost at three weeks. And should have started YouTube a long time ago, honestly. It's always been something I wanted to do. Um, so I figured why not right now. Because um, the truth is, guys, during prep, one thing I've realized is uh, <laughs> being this lean, it's not a year-round thing. You know, you see a lot of fitness YouTubers and stuff, and they they look like this year-round. And uh, the truth is, if you're looking like this year-round, you're either miserable year-round and or you're probably not natural. And that's just, and that's just the truth. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying like it's miserable for the most part. Um, Unless I, you know, I'm at the gym, or if I'm at work, like, staying busy. If I'm just at home in my own head, like, it's... You feel like giving up every, like, five minutes. Um, when I have a meal, like, that I'm about to eat that has no carbs, and it's pretty bland, um, finding the motivation to even make it is tough sometimes. But the reason that you know, I've kept going is strictly just because I know what I, where I want to be and what I can do. And, uh, I'm keeping the dream alive because my dream is to just step on stage because I've never done anything like this in my life, if I'm being real. Like it, it's, if you knew me in high school, elementary, anything like that, you would know that I did the bare minimum always. I was lazy. I was unsure of myself. I had no confidence ever. Um, so this past year has just been insane for me, for self-growth. Like literally, I can't imagine a time where I pushed myself as hard as this. I played sports all the way growing up and everything like that, but um, I was never able to truly push myself. Like I. I as soon as I noticed like competition, where I was maybe not the best, I would give up. And giving up just isn't an option anymore. If I'm being real, like it's, I have a goal and I'm gonna make it. Um, stepping on stage as lean as possible is my goal. I mean, you know, granted you will I will probably lose some muscle along the way. That's that's very natural thing to have happen. Um, but I actually loving the process uh, for the most part. I wake up usually. I try to wake up before seven to do fasted cardio. I mean, it's pretty easy nowadays. I my sleep honestly is so bad. Um, some nights I'll get seven hours of sleep. Last night I got about four and a half and I just tried to fall asleep multiple times. I'm sometimes sweating at night. Uh, it's a new thing. It's obviously just being this thing. My body's really unhappy. Um, but the reason that I do it is because I set a goal and I gonna stick to it um, and I'd like to bring everybody along the way so that's why I'm starting this YouTube so this is gonna be like a full day in the life so I'll kind of tell you everything that I'm doing um, everything that I take like in terms of like supplementation um, you know so yeah starting off the day with the coffee very basic just some uh, monk fruit in there because uh, I want to stay as fasted as possible because I will be taking Yohimbine, which is a natural fat burner, but a very potent one. Don't recommend it to anyone unless you're on prep and you're pushing for that, you know, like super lean level. It uh, makes you very anxious and not too good for the tummy, but um, it is the only natural fat burner that I can take. So currently I'm taking that almost every day. Um, fasting cardio, probably around like 6.37, and then I'll catch you guys after that for my first meal. 
Hey guys, so I just finished my uh, morning cardio. Did about 35 minutes, 20 on the elliptical, 15 on the treadmill. Not super hard, and the reason is because I was going super hard on cardio for a while, um, really hard on the stairs, like level 12 for 20 minutes, and eventually I realized my legs were not recovering. They, I'm not eating enough food to be pushing my legs that hard right now. Um, and I like doing the 20 minutes because it's 20 minutes rather than 35 and you burn a lot more. So rather than that, I am doing a lot lighter, easier cardio, but for a little bit longer. And I'm doing about two sessions a day. So um, I'm gonna see how that works. My legs are feeling a lot better now, still sore. So I'll keep you guys on updated on that. See you soon. Hey guys, just got back from cardio. Um, so now I'm gonna make my breakfast, which honestly, this is like probably the best part of my day. Literally, we're on the happiest. Um, I'm doing cream of wheat. I cook it with uh, silk oat milk. It's only 70 calories per cup. And that's pretty damn good. And it, and it tastes good. You know, when you're on prep, it, t it tastes good, so I'm not sure if, uh, you know, anybody else would like this, but basically I do a cup, and then I add in just a little bit, because I like it a little bit creamier, um, and it cooks a little bit better like that too, um, and then we do 30 grams of cream of wheat. And I can't advise this enough. If you're trying to lose weight or on prep or whatever, weighing out your food is vital. It is so important. And I, I don't think enough people get that. And then they wonder, why isn't the scale going down? Um, it's because you're probably eating more than you think. You know, you're probably eyeballing it. Although that's a tablespoon or whatever, but weigh out your food, guys, and measure too. So, um, Seven and we got 30, 31 grams. So one gram extra. And that is why I do a little bit extra milk because you're not always going to be perfect. And you know, I'm not going to fish cream of wheat out of there, you know, that's would kill me. So a couple extra grams isn't going to kill. And I like to eat. I don't know why, but I saw this, uh, saw, I watched a lot of bodybuilders on prep and, uh, they like to eat all their food in Tupperware. So this prep, I actually started doing that and I realized very early on, there's, there's something about it that, uh, just works. Like it, it makes it, can't explain it. You'd have to try it to understand. Um, and then PB2, I do the cocoa, so you just do one tablespoon of that. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this tablespoon is, so I always leave a little bit out. Um, it looks big in my opinion. It's kind of a cheap one. You know, I live on my own, don't have a lot of money, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, and I'm just, uh, so I'll turn the, uh, the stove top on for and then this protein, I get it at Active Body in Vernon. It's the only place I can get it. And uh, chocolate hazelnut Funtella. It's so bomb. Like, I advise you to try it if you haven't already. Um, I don't know where anyone else can get it, but Active Body in Vernon. So, yeah, there we go. Scoop it up. And now it's kind of just a waiting game. I gotta wash my. So I'll usually eat as soon as I get home from fasted cardio. And the reason for that is I'm starving, you know, after fasted cardio, like it's first thing on my mind. So give it a little stir and you guys, I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like in here or after. But, um, it's 
I'm not gonna lie, guys, cream of wheat is. So I'll tell you the macros. Just in the cream of wheat for 30 grams, it's only 110 calories. So then we add the milk, which is about, since I add a little bit extra, we can say it's about 80. So we can say 200 there. I'll be generous. Um, protein is 120. So that's uh, 320. And then with the PB2, that's about 25. So it comes out to about 335 calories. And I'll show you the amount of food that you get to eat. And I wish I could tell you guys how good it tastes. You just have to take my word for it. But in my opinion, it's bomb. And so when I was living at home, I used to cook cream of wheat in the microwave. But I don't have a microwave. And I realized soon, early on, that cooking it on the stovetop is just better. And in my opinion, cooking any food stovetop is better compared to a microwave um whether heating up in a pan or whatever but also cooking in the oven like i just there's something rewarding about it about waiting and you're like sitting there you have to wait and there's more preparing and uh i think it just makes you appreciate the meal more once you have it so a little bit of advice try it out for yourself um obviously if i if i live with my parents um there's a high chance that I would use, you know, a microwave, but I'm glad I don't, because honestly, I didn't move out of my parents, you know, because of any problems. I moved out because I felt really stuck at home. Um, motivation just wasn't, it wasn't really there, to be honest. Uh, and since I moved out, everything's just felt a lot better, felt a lot better about myself um, and the changes that I made for myself a bit a lot better. Um, not gonna lie, when I lived at home with my parents, I binge ate a lot at night, like a lot. It was tough. I I think it just overall didn't feel very good about myself, you know? So it's one tip for you. If you are at home with your parents and you're stuck and let's say you're, if you're in school, it makes sense, right? But if you're not in school and you're not planning on going to school and you're working, get a place and see where it takes you. If your parents are willing to like take you back if you need to, um, I know my parents would be. They wouldn't leave me out on the streets, right? So, um, and it's a learning process. I learned a lot about myself on living alone. You learn to be okay with being with yourself, right? So, um, a lot of self-growth just from living with myself, but um, definitely glad that I do. And I'm not, I'm not very good at the whole editing for YouTube videos, so this is well, you can see that. That is straight up goodness right there, if you ask me. I never get more excited for a meal than my cream of wheat. And there's a reason for it. I advise if you guys are struggling to, you know, find foods, try cream of wheat. A lot of people are like, cream of wheat, like, well, that's gross, but truth is, it's fucking awesome. So, I am going to have to let it sit for a bit, because it's very hot. But that's the way we like it. So, give it a nice little stir, and you can see, like, it just gets, gets very, very, like, you see, it just looks like chocolate pudding almost and that's kind of what it tastes like and I swear to you guys nothing really makes me happier than this because I used to do oats every morning but the truth of the oats is they don't taste as good like, I swear to you guys oats do not taste as good and I feel like this is more satisfying Oats are a little bit um, more filling. That is one thing. But in the morning, I will get to eat again in like about two hours, two and a half. So I'm really not too worried about how full I am. It's more so about just getting instant protein in. It digests really fast. Um, other breakfasts I could do is like eggs and toast, but um, 
not a spelling in my opinion. This is like something that I can kind of savor and just really slowly enjoy. It's like, it's like a goo, like, I don't know. I really like it. You're gonna think, like you're gonna watch the video and you're gonna be like, that looks gross. I, I, I get it. Hey guys, so I just showered. Um, about to take all my vitamins that, that, that I'd show you what I take. So first things first, vitamin A. Um, I could tell you exactly why I take all these vitamins, but the truth is you take all these vitamins because every vitamin is important. Every single nutrient that I don't hit, um, I track it all so I know what I'm missing out on and I supplement it with all of this stuff. Um, multivitamin, uh, of course, very important. Now, ashwagandha, I've been taking this for about almost a year now and I swear it makes a difference. And I get this one at Anna's Vitamins and we're in. It's uh, pretty cheap there. Uh, they got some good stuff there. Vitamin C. Now, I get the chewables. These are, uh, uh, they're juicy white peach. And if you're a pet, it's a, it's a treat, honestly. I, I like this. So, then, move straight into veggie greens. I take a pill in the morning, take five pills. The full serving is 12 caps. I'm not going to take 12 caps every day. I eat a lot of veggies on the side in later meals. In the morning, I don't eat a lot of veggies. So I'll show you guys that later. It'll be in the video. Take five of those. Um, elderberry. Very important for your immune system. As soon as I started taking this, like six months ago, you notice it. Like it's just everything. Immune system. Carnitine. Carnitine, very important for burning fat. Um, it's also in my pre-workout, which I'll show you. Um, freaking, I notice a difference when I take it. Definitely hurts your appetite a bit, which is good right now, because I don't want to be hungry. Well, I'm going to be hungry anyways, but apple cider vinegar, very it's staple, very important for digestion. Um, calcium, magnesium, E3. Um, very important. I think I get enough calcium in my diet, but um, the magnesium part. So next time we'll probably just buy magnesium, honestly. Um, obviously omegas. I used to eat fish every day. You wouldn't eat an omega if you eat fish every day. Pep has made me very sick of fish. So I take an omega every day now. Very important. If you're not getting fish, I would take an omega. Then, probiotic. Take one of these every day. It's uh, advisable that you take it with food. So I will wait to take this one with my um, pre-workout meal, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. It's, uh, uh, you're going to be so surprised what it is, but uh, my favorite meal again. So stay tuned. Hello there, YouTube. So. Starting off again, I'm doing cream of wheat for our pre-workout meal. And I am stoked, honestly. I know I already, I only ate like, it's currently, what time is it? It's um, 9.42. I ate at about seven, I think. So it's been about over, just over two and a half hours, maybe two. Um, Making cream of wheat. Also, it's a pre workout meal. You get 125 grams of strawberries. The reason I do strawberries, because they're pretty easy to get down. It's also good, in my opinion, to get some sugar for your pre workout. Before I started like prepping hard, I was doing Rice Krispie treats. Some, some might know. They are amazing pre-workout, but um, these are half the calories and it's all carbs. Um, those just feel a little bit better eating strawberries on prep than a Rice Krispie treat. Um, wow. 
you know, I'm just cooking the cream of wheat. I'll show you guys what I make for beer rico. Um, same thing all the time. Switch it up sometimes if I want a little bit more caffeine or something, but um, I go pretty hard on the pre workout. It gets me in my zone. Working out without pre workout, in my opinion, it's it's not worth it, in my opinion. If you can get a better workout taking pre workout, as long as you use it in moderation, you might as well use it. There's a lot of people who say, oh, like, just drink a coffee before you work out. Like, you don't, you don't need pre workout. It's like, nobody needs pre workout. Nobody needs to work out, but I like it, so that's why I take it. But I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so the cream of wheat's just finishing up. Um, show you guys what I take pre workout and like intro workout. Um, the reason I do cream of wheat before my workout is mostly because it digests super quickly. Because um, once I eat my meal, I don't like to, I don't like to sit around and wait, you know, I pretty much make my pre right after I eat it, hop in my car, I'll usually drink my pre in my car, listen to some music, pump myself up, I'm already pretty pumped up as soon as I drink my pre, it hits right away, um, cause I, yeah, I used to eat like potatoes and chicken pre-workout and the problem was, like, I would go to the gym right away, but I'd be bloated for the first little bit and Problem is if you start your workout bloated, kind of ruins your whole workout in my opinion. So you're way better off consuming something that's easy to digest. Cream of wheat just works for me so well. Now, am I saying that it work for everyone? No. You gotta find what works for you. I mean, like a lot of people like chicken and rice pre-workout because it's very simple. Um, I I don't know. It just kind of sits in my stomach a little bit more than this. And also is like my favorite meal in the world. Like when I go off prep, I'll probably, I'll probably continue to eat this pre-workout and I'll probably double it, like just double it. Like I'll just, cause as soon as my show's over, I plan on going into a pretty big bulk. I want to do a good off season this year or this coming year. Um, cause I do plan on competing next year as well kind of what I want to do for life now. I want to be a men's physique competitor um, and then move into classic eventually once I'm comfortable. Just figured I'd get a show under my belt, you know? Um, plus I figure, you know, like men's physique seems a little bit more. For a first show, I think it's a good introductory. And then, you know, we all want to look like Chris Bumstead, obviously. So that's, Classic is the goal, you know, like, he's always been, he's like the Canadian mascot in my opinion, like there's no one else, he, you see him when he gets on stage, like he's emotional, he's, he's really appreciative for where he is, and you can tell that he works super hard, you know, and I'm not saying that other pro bodybuilders don't work hard. That's my boy, so. And I think he's all our boy. We all love Chris Bumstead, so. It's not just me. But, I'm gonna let the cream wheat sit. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for your pre-workout. So, the shaker. I have very specific shakers. I have three specific shakers. The shaker is for, I put my just half scoop of protein in. And the reason I do half scoop is because I like to just drink it right after my workout. I'm gonna use, I have a little bit of this left. It's Iso Surge uh, peanut butter chocolate. Really good actually, I give it a try. It's really tasty, really peanut buttery. Um, but peanut butter is easier to imitate than chocolate I find sometimes for proteins. And it's uh, Iso, so it's very clean. Half scoop of that, drink that right after my workout. That ready to go. And then we hop in straight into this is the this will be during the workout. If you drink an EA supplement, um, 
this is it's so tasty if you've ever had you know the mini starburst because i find the the starburst and mini starburst taste very different the mini ones taste a little bit more starchy and i actually like them a lot more these taste exactly like a mini starburst and it's a treat like i oops, uh give it a try because seriously the red slushy is so tasty i'm gonna try the other flavor they got like a blue slushy i think too i do a little bit of a, a heaping scoop um uh, ne there's never too much EAs in my opinion. And the best part about this is you get three, gram three grams of glutamine in it as well. Glutamine is so good for recovery. Um, I put five grams in my pre-workout as well, so I get about eight grams per day. Um, you can do more than that. The, the bioavailability of gl glutamine apparently in your stomach for drinking it is not that great, so if anything past that is not that great. But people actually um, inject glutamine. I'm not gonna inject with me. <laughs> not right now. So, got that. And then, my OG shaker. I don't know why, these Olmec shakers, they they don't break, they don't leak, they're just great. Olmec, shout out to you. Also, shout out to Olmec for best pre. Don't have me. This is the best pre, it's the best tasting, and it's the best pump. Um, I've gotten a little bit too used to six grams of citrulline, so I'll show you what I do afterwards. But I do one scoop of this, which is it's 400 grams of caffeine. <laughs> Excuse me. See, it's strong, it's very strong. Um, you know what? Not many other pre's make me cough when I open them. Um, so I didn't pump surge from Jack Factory. Any pump product you can add in. I just do it mostly for the citrulline. So I do about half a scoop, just under. You don't want to go too crazy. Um, uh, yeah, that's good. And that's just getting to that eight grams of citrulline. It's really good. But the thing is, if you're only used, so. You build up a tolerance to citrulline, so the more you take, the more you need. So I would start off, if you take six, just keep on taking six. And then, it's mostly because I'm on prep, I just, like, pre-breakup doesn't hit as hard, so I need more. Um, staple, creatine, guys. If you aren't taking creatine, in my opinion, you're kind of a fool. You're losing games that you could be making. Creatine is the best natural supplement out there. If you have no money, you can still afford creatine. It's like 10 bucks, and it'll last you, like, it's, I think it's 30 and it'll last you about 80 days, I'm pretty sure. Um, then all max as well, glutamine. Glutamine is great, same thing, very cheap. I recommend you buy glutamine, especially if you're cutting. If you're bulking, it's not as important, you know, but uh, if you need more food, you get, your recovery's better, but when you're cutting and you're in calorie deficit, definitely want to get some glutamine in there. Alrighty, so we started off the workout with Incline Smith on the bench. Um, I'm not pushing it too hard right now. It's uh, I do about three heavy sets, and I'm not going as absolutely hard as I could. And the reason is because we do want to prevent injuries. We're trying to maintain the muscle that we have, not gain any because... Truth is, in a deficit this big, we're not going to be gaining any muscle. So as you can see, I'm just taking every rep really slow, focusing it down, and squeezing the chest at the top. My head does have a tendency to come down almost every rep. I've got to work on that. And then here we are on... I actually love this machine. It's There's something about it and adding the band to it. The squeeze at the top is fighting you so hard that, like, you have to really focus your chest to get that squeeze. If you have something like this, I recommend you try it, especially with the band. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite something. And I actually got my buddy to film me here. Um kind of near the end of the workout pump was definitely not there anymore but um as you can see 
some new veins are coming in, getting a little bit grainy, I would say, on the arms. It's cool to see, but um, I didn't film everything, obviously, but this is what I did film at gym, and I will try to, you know, get some more content and better content at the gym. Hey guys, so uh, this is my pre-workout meal. I did... I didn't show it, but I actually drank a just a half scoop of protein after my workout. Then I went and got some um, some Walden Farms mayo because I'm gonna try to make like a like a tuna melt thing. We got some tuna, some broccoli sprouts, and some uh, really low fat cheese. I'll show you guys that later because it's crazy macros, and I don't think a lot of people know about it. And then we got uh, some sourdough bread, um, 110 calories per two slices, pretty damn good, and I'll. Uh, I'll show you guys the finished product. Hey guys, so I made my tuna melt. Uh, that is it. Oh, it looks so good. So excited. Also, I made, uh, about this, some instant coffee, because I remember before I used to drink instant coffee, like, instead of regular coffee. Especially if you don't have, like, a Keurig or, a, like, an espresso machine, in my opinion. I just think instant coffee tastes better. You add a little bit of milk and a little bit of sweetener, and it just it almost tastes... There's something about it. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, and I'll catch you in the next meal. Hey guys, back again. Um, cooking up some, I'll show you guys. It's some um, steak, zucchini noodles, uh, riced cauliflower, and some pasta sauce. And we also got some, my favorite part, the Valentina's hot sauce on it. Makes it taste like Honestly, it just makes it taste like something at this point. I think that's, I'm not a hot sauce guy usually. Never happened really. But when you are in the prep, like hot sauce is, it's just flavor. Like, it's just something, right? That's what I say. Hot sauce isn't a flavor. It's just hot. Through these guys, it's, it helps. It, it just adds something. And I also find that when I have a decent amount of hot sauce, I uh, definitely hurts my appetite a little bit, which right now is a good thing. Like, I want that tastes good. I want my appetite to be bad, basically. Which sounds bad. I want to be not hungry after this because I only get one meal after this and hey guys final meal of the day so got some egg whites a um, little bit of low-fat cheese in there uh, got some sprouts pea sprouts and a little bit of ham and you already know what we're gonna talk about no sugar added ketchup. I go pretty generous with this, so honestly, probably like, I guess it is two tablespoons, something like that. Um, it makes the meal. But um, honestly, I am dead. I'm going to eat this meal and then probably pass out. Waking up at six tomorrow, go to the gym. I'll probably be up before that, honestly. I won't be able to sleep and then a long day ahead of me work but um excited to go burn calories and get leaner every day so catch you guys in the next video this has been fun um my macros for the day are about 1650 calories um 40 grams of fat about 200 grams of protein and 130 grams of carbs for the day i would like to do lower carbs tomorrow I got a little bit overboard with the pasta sauce, honestly, that was it. I accidentally used half a cup instead of a quarter cup. A little bit of a brain fog moment, so what can you do? It's not going to affect me in the long run. I just need to go a little bit harder tomorrow, so um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. But thanks for tuning in if you did. Um, if you subscribe, like the channel, I would really appreciate it. And I'd like to keep on uploading, so... Stay tuned. See you guys next time.